seven worth an ester and an and an amine within the molecule. We have H plus and heat, right? So it's gonna happen here. Protonation. The nitrogen is gonna add, right? An intramolecular addition. Right? You can see that bond's gonna be have to have be formed. We have a tetrahedral immediate. We're gonna do a proton transfer, right? And then we're gonna kick out the methanol. That's gonna get us to this. And we need to regenerate the catalyst and the H just falls off. That gets us to the cyclo beta lactam. That's what it's called. It's like this active, active kind of substructure in penicillin. All right, for this one, give them mechanism for their reaction below. So in this one, you had to choose, right, between an oxygen and nitrogen. And I didn't really ask this question, but why did the oxygen get deprotonated and not the nitrogen? Perfect. So the reason why OH gets deprotonated, not NH, is because the oxygen is more electronegative, which makes the hydrogen more acidic. And that is also a reason why the O- is actually more stable, because it's more electronegative, right? They both could do resonance, right? This nitrogen could do resonance, so can that O. But this is a more polar bond, because of oxygen's electronegativity. Excellent. So we deprotonate there. We add in, this is anhydride. We add in, make a tetrahedral intermediate. Electrons come down and eliminate, right? This is... A good leaving group because of resonance and it gets us to the product now for this one this is that robinson annulation that's a fancy way of saying you're going to do a aldol condensation uh well not kind that's not that's not robinson sorry this is an aldol condensation so you have lda a really bulky uh reactive base right it's big and you have a choice right i could you're gonna look you're looking for alpha ch's here so you gotta find the most acidic alpha CH. And so you're looking for those ones between the two carbonyls that can do resonance either way. So even though these are alpha CHs, you're not gonna deprotonate those. They're not as acidic as this one. And you never de never deprotonate an alpha or hydrogen off an aldehyde, never do that. So you deprotonate, make the enolate between the two carbonyls. That adds in, all right? Makes a tetrahedral intermediate. No good leaving groups. So you protonate from the same thing you just right from the LDA you took from there. The LDA comes back in, does an E2, and kicks out the OH minus. And similar to how we talked about this in class, some people will say, well, OH minus isn't a very good leaving group. You're right, it's not a very good leaving group. But it also depends on the situation. What's more stable, O minus or N minus? Well, O minus is actually more stable than N minus. So this actually helps drive this reaction to do that. And why is O minus more stable? Because it's more electronegative.